So today we're going to start to work on loading chance on the trailer for the first time and so uh, you know I've done a fair bit of preparation leading up to this not with the trailer of course but I've just broken it down into some little pieces where he appeared he might have some issues if I were to try to do this too early. So during the winter Chance and Bundy and Sherlock lived in here and I would turn them out in the arena every day because it gets really muddy in there so they'd go in the arena and have a run around and a lay down and I'd often lead two or three of them at a time out here and I'd come out and I'd walk off this step here but he would tend to walk around it. He'd either walk off over there or he'd walk off over there. So I knew he wasn't crazy about stepping down things and that's a pretty big step for him and so I um, have recently taken him into the barn and there's a little step stepping out of there and he stepped out of there just fine so about uh, two days ago I spent probably half an hour really patiently with him here just letting him explore this and eventually he would just hop down there like it was no problem but I didn't put any pressure on him I didn't you know put any pressure on him at all I just kind of let him explore it and let him feel comfortable and that's the big thing um, about everything I've done is just making sure that he feels really confident in me and really comfortable where he is and when they were turned out in the arena during the winter time this box here was in the arena and he used to come up and stand on it and I would just make a point of when I was leaving the arena just to walk him over it just to give him a bit more preparation for things like what we're about to do today you know when I first when he was first born and I I uh, you know I posted videos of him and said I wasn't going to do a whole lot with him a lot of people said oh you know you need to desensitize him you need to do this and that otherwise he'll be too hard to handle or whatever and I have found that just building relationship with him all the way along has made things easier than they normally are with all the work that I used to do so um, I don't know what's going to happen here but I'm just going to what I would do here is if I was approaching the trailer and he looked tense at all, when he started to get a slight bit tense, I'd kind of wait until he relaxed and then I'd walk away and I'd come back again. So far I don't see anything here, so I might just wander up here. Oh, another thing I was going to say that I've done to make this probably an easier process is it's late in the afternoon and you might notice the inside of the trailer is well lit. Horses can see really well at night time, okay? In dark places he might just get on on his own um, looks like he's going to just get on his own uh, something else I've done too was put some grain up there so I didn't lure him in with the grain but I put the grain up there in case he does get in he can find something pleasant when he does get in um, that all happened a bit too quick I didn't even get a chance to explain it but I set the the um, I've set it up this way because a lot of times if you're in bright daylight it's midday or something or other the inside of the trailer is very dark and outside is very bright and horses can see well in the dark but they don't adjust quickly from light to dark and so that can be a factor in getting a horse in a trailer and I really think that most horse trailer loading problems are caused by a bad first experience and this one here seems like a pretty good first experience but you know it's it's most people that have trailer loading problems with horses are undoing problems that have happened initially okay little man can you turn this way for me no oh, over this way around here and th this was the bit that I was concerned about you know I, I didn't think he'd have trouble stepping up because that step over towards where, these, where he spent the winter over there he'd always step up that but he had trouble stepping down it so like I said I spent a couple of spent a half an hour the other day working on that to where he was quite confident doing that because this is usually the problem right here just like you see right here he's kind of searching like what am I oops now I've dropped the he stepped over the lead rope very good little man so what I'm gonna so it's not it's not whether you can get them on it's whether they're comfortable doing it and so he went on and had a little bit of grain so what I'm probably gonna do here now I didn't ask him to get on last time I was standing still he got on this time I went on with him okay I led him on that time and let him have a bit more grain so I've set this up and if you think about the stepping out of the barn the stepping on and off that box the stepping up and down that step um, over by his thing over there I've chosen the time of day that's the most beneficial for his eyesight and I've also placed something in here that he finds quite nice when he gets in here oh, don't back up and fall out there 
So right then, he was just getting distracted. If he steps back and falls down there and scares himself, I've got a bad, I've got, you know, a bad experience with the trailer. And like I said, most, I think most trailering problems come from having a bad first experience. And so I, I try to do my best to avoid having a bad first experience for any experience. And that has to do with what I'm on about a lot lately is about having it be yes answers. So I really want to make sure that by the time I come over here, it's going to be a good experience. And that's the whole thing about that yes answer thing. Everything should be a good experience. And it, they are only bad experiences if there's, there's no questions involved. You want to hop out? Come on, little man. So he's just going to have a little bit of an explore here. I'm not going to put any pressure on him to get out. I'm just going to let him get out whenever he wants to. I might wander across this way a little bit. And this is why I did that preparation going down that step, because like I said, a lot of times these young horses, oh, don't bang your head on that. That would be another bad experience. A lot of times these young horses um, have trouble getting out of a, getting out of a trailer. He's trying hard, isn't he? What a good little man. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. You had a little look. Yeah. Yeah. You're okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You're okay. It's a big step, isn't it, for poor little Chance. If he feels the need to look at things and sniff things and have a look around, that's perfectly fine. I'm not going to force him to jump out. There you go. What a good little man. So that's a pretty good first little experience for the for a trailer. And like I said, that's probably the, the biggest part of that is preparation and the biggest thing about trailer loading problems is making sure they don't have a problem in the first place and then thinking ahead enough so they don't have problems in there they don't whack their head they don't step on the rope fling their head up bump the roof step or fall out backwards any of those sorts of things um, because usually when you're dealing with like I said with trailer loading problems you are dealing with baggage and I just want to stay away from the baggage if I can